In this video, we'll be looking at City Fibre's ONT. Well, straight away we can see it's one of the smaller ONTs out there and with its sleek black look, it'll blend into most modern homes. But what do we actually need to know about it? Well, not much really. There's no power button, so it's a simple case of plug your cable in and turn it on. There's one port to go from your ONT to your router and your factory reset button is clearly visible on the front. So that just leaves the lights. What do they mean? So if your power light is solid green, it means that it's turned on. If it's flashing, it means that it's booting up. If it's amber, that would indicate that it's going through a firmware update. If this goes red, however, it means that the boot has failed. And what you need to do is remove that power cable, wait 10 seconds and plug it back in. This should reboot the router. Next, we have the broadband lights. Similar to the power lights, if this is solid green, you're all good. If it's flashing, it means that your ONT is establishing its connection. If, however, it goes red rather than solid green after flashing, this could imply there is an error on the line. What you need to do at this stage is double check that the fibre cable is seated correctly into the green port on the bottom of the ONT. At the same time, ensuring that the cable does not appear to be damaged or kinked in any way. If you have checked this and the red light remains, reboot the router as instructed before by pulling the power cable out for 10 seconds. If your service does not return, Perform a factory reset by holding a pin-like object into the port on the front of the ONT for another 10 seconds. If your service still does not return and the red light continues to appear, call our tech support on the number below. Next we have the service light, and this is pretty straightforward. If it's green, it means there is an active connection running to your ONT. And if that light is off, that would indicate that the ONT is not detecting a service. If this is the case, reboot the ONT as instructed before, as well as performing a factory reset and checking the fiber cable. If you've completed these steps and the ONT still does not display a service light, call our tech support on the number below. And finally, we have the ethernet light. Now this is purely a status light that outlines the connection between your ONT and your router. If the light is lit green, that means that there is an established connection between your ONT and the router. However, if this light is off, that would imply that the connection is not established between the two devices. What you need to do is double check that the cable is seated correctly between the ONT in the yellow port, as well as the port one on the Fritz box. If this cable is seated correctly and your Fritz box is powered on and the ethernet light remains unlit, try an alternative cable. You should have received one with your Fritz box from Zen. If you connect this cable between the ONT and the Fritz box and the ethernet light still does not light, call us on the number below and we'll be more than happy to help. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video useful, click on that like button below. If you want more videos like this, do please click on that subscribe button. And until next time, thank you very much.